子祥访谈录 ，Real People, Real Story. Uh, I would think for you, when you've come here, you've come from China, right? You live in America, and you've learned to do both. You can do both, but you yourself live kind of negotiating the worlds between the two that you've you've been from and that you're in. So that would be a third culture kid. Oh, so you're telling me I'm a third culture kid? I think I am telling you that. TCK是指那些与父母文化不同文化中成长的孩子，当今世界TCK的数量正在史无前例的增长。露丝·范瑞肯女士就是这样一个第二代的第三文化孩子，她来自一个美国白人的家庭，在非洲出生并长大，在十
we have a connection with when somebody else has done it we kind of understand how it feels that's absolutely great so if I understand cor uh, correctly, your parents were also TCKs, right? My father was. My father was born and raised in what was then Persia, which is now Iran. Right. So both of my p grandparents are buried there. I never met them. Uh, my grandfather began a hospital in Resht. And um, so they died before I was born, and that's where they're buried. Hmm. My mother was born and raised in Chicago. So that was a little different experience, and uh, maybe she was the stabilizing one, and he was the rootless and restless <laughs> one, but they went to Nigeria then in 1944, and in 1944, because of the war, people were not allowed to take children. So my mother was pregnant, she didn't want to leave her daughter here, which some people were doing, so she went, while she was pregnant, to Portugal, and... They told her she better stay, so my first sister was born in Portugal, and then she went down to Nigeria, and I was born a year later, and then I had four more siblings that were born in Nigeria. But my first daughter was born in Liberia some years later, and my first granddaughter was born in Ghana, so we're kind of have the Africa self. The Africa self. The Africa self. That's why, so that's why everything's Africa. Because your father grew up as a TCK, uh, did he give you any kind of uh, guidance or suggestions to, to better help you to go through life as a TCK too? 